Lori and I are going to be taking a trip to Denver. We're both Chiefs fans, but she is to the core a Bronco fan. They got Russell Wilson this year, and he has a new saying, uh, Broncos country, let's ride. I think we need a new saying on our channel. Let's roll. Today is Game 6 of the 1984 Single Elimination Tournament. The Seattle Mariners at the St. Louis Cardinals. Here's your starting lineups. Jack McCarthy will lead off for the Mariners at second base. Al Callens in right field. Phil Bradley in left field. Al Davis at first base. Dave Henderson in center field. Larry Milborn is the third baseman. Kearney is the catcher. And Spike on the shortstop. Mark Lanston on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals. Will McGee will lead off and play center field. Ozzie Smith at shortstop. Terry Pendleton at third base. George Henrik in right field. David Green, first base. Tommy Hurst, second base. Daryl Porter, catcher. And Lonnie Smith is in left field. Joaquin Andujar on the mound. This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Joaquin Arnuhar is completing his warm-up tosses. 20-game winner in 1984, 3.34 earn-run average. Uh, SR rating is 17, and PB rating is 2 through 7. Jack Perconti steps into the box for the Mariners, carries the 294 average. And like yesterday, we're going to include the 10 sided die. And whenever it reads zero, we will consider, if there's runners on base, we'll consider a BD result or a CD result or a Z chart result. Uh, Z chart will be a re roll of nine or 10, and it could be with nobody on base or people with on base. Here we go, first pitch of the ball game. I think we'll roll the PB dice separately. And eight will be off Percati's card. 73 is gonna be a left normal out. Popped up to second base. Tommy Hur is under it, and that's the first out of the game. Next batter for the Mariners is Al Cowens. Had a career year in 1977 for the Kansas City Royals. Helped him to a division title. We'll be reading off his card. And 45 is going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three. Not a patient hitter. No walks on his card. Two outs. Phil Bradley steps up to play 301 hitter. No homers, though. Uh, six off Joaquin Andujar's card. 75 is going to be a smooth sail for Joaquin Andujar in the first inning. Ground out to the shortstop. No air. Three up and three down for the Mariners. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. Wildly popular switch hitter, Willie McGee, leads off for the St. Louis Cardinals. Mark Langster, a left-handed thrower, 17-10, 3.40 ERA, and we're reading off his card with, for the first result. 32 is a swing and a miss, strike three. McGee takes the U-turn back to the dugout. Here's the Wizard of Oz, Ozzy Smith. Nine is off his card, and zero will be a... Nobody on base, so if it's a 9 or 10 Z chart, otherwise we'll take the 54 off his card. Not quite makes it to the Z, Z chart. 54 is an out, switch normal. Is a ground out to Spike Owen at shortstop. No error, two up and two down for the cards. 
That brings out Terry Pendleton off of his card. And another Z, a 9 or 10 will be a Z chart, or another 0. So that would be a BD chart, but there's nobody on base, so we'll take the 73. Ground out to third base with an air check. Larry Milburn makes the play flawlessly. Three up and three down for the cards. We're at the top of the second. Mariners nothing in St. Louis, nothing. Rookie Alvin Davis will lead off the second inning for the Mariners. He was the rookie of the year in American League. 284 or 27 home runs. Uh, never did match that performance moving on through his career. There's a pitch to Alvin Davis. He'll be off his card. And then yet another zero, but there's nobody on base. That doesn't send us to the Z chart. It takes a nine or a zero to get to the Z chart which is the unusual play chart. 83 is going to be an out, left power, fly ball to left field, handled by Lonnie Smith, one down. That brings up Dave Henderson, a 280 hitter with 14 homers, nine off his card. And 32 is a liner the opposite way down the Right field line into the corner, and Dave Henderson will settle into second base with the game's first hit, a double. Air check is no no air. There's already one out. Larry Mer Milborn would be a good candidate to sacrifice, but not with one out. And a runner already in scoring position. Here's the pitch to Milborn. Six off Andujar's card. And 22, liner over the head of Tommy Herr. Uh, let's see, that's off the pitcher card, so that's a two-base advance, and Henderson scores. We don't check for errors off base hits off the pitcher's card. One to nothing Cincinnati, or one to nothing Seattle. Here's the Mariner catcher, Bob Kearney. Nine is off his card. And now we do, uh, we have a runner on base, so we can re-roll, see if we're checking the, I rolled into a seven, so it's going to be clutch defense. Checking the clutch defense of the left fielder. Lonnie Smith is a CD1. Let's re-roll the random die. And consult the table that's on the board behind the scoreboard here. 70. Wrong one. 14. Line out. Lead runner doubled off base. Double play. Base running mistake by Larry Milborn. Score at seven and seven to three. The Mariners get one in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. Seattle one and St. Louis nothing. All right, George Hendrick will get it started for the Cardinals. Ten is off his card. And 82 is going to be ground ball to second base. No air on the air check. One out. Here's David Green. Cardinals still looking for their first hit. Six off Langston's card. Seven is not quite to the Z chart, and the bases are empty, so no BD or CD. 48 is a base on balls uh, delivered by Mark Langston, first base runner for the cards. Cardinals have several possibilities for stealing bases. David Green's at speed is B. And you know I like to steal bases. Let's give it a shot. We'll, we'll just the random number die. And it's 85. That might not be too good. Runner cannot get a jump. Jump holds base. Continue with normal PB play. Eight is off of Tommy Hurst's card. 
85 is the S normal. Ground ball to first base. No error, and that's a double play. 3-6-3. Three, three. Double play. That's the end of the Cardinals inning. We go to the top of the third. one nothing Seattle. For the Seattle third, it will be Spike Owen, the pitcher, Mark Langston, and then Jack Percante. Here's a pitch from Andujar. Seven is off of his card. And 78 is going to be an out. That's normal. Popped up on the infield. First up, Ozzie Smith lays claim and makes the catch. One down. Here's the pitcher card for Mark Langston. It's going to be off Andrew Har's card. And 41, Andrew Har walks the pitcher. Here's Percate. Nine off of his card. And 24 is going to be a base hit to center field. Check for air. Air number three. McGee's the two, so he makes the play. Uh, base hit off the batter card, first and second. One down. Percati's at first. Langston's at second. Here is Al Cowens, 277 with 15 home runs. Three, excuse me, sorry for hitting the camera. Let's get that back in order. We'll be reading Joaquin Andujar's card. And 55 is going to be some sort of an out. RP is a ground ball to third. No air, and it's going to be a 5-4-3 double play. That ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. One to nothing, Seattle. Like Alvin Davis, Mark Langston was a rookie in 1984, and he paid off handsomely, winning 17 games. Probably best known for being traded to Montreal for six foot ten Randy Johnson. But he had a very successful career. Here's a pitch to Daryl Porter. Five is off Langston's card. And 88. Both are both are left-handed. That's going to be an out. Left in is line drive back to the pitcher Langston, who makes the play. Here is Lonnie Smith. Five is off Langston's card. Fifty-five will be an out, or no, will be a pass. It's base on base on balls. That's a walk. Lonnie Smith was one of the speedy Cardinals. And he'll probably try to steal second. Let's get a roll here. Base stealing. 54 is runner out if C has a TA, if catcher has a TA rating. If not, he steals second. And um, the catcher Kearney is a TA rating, rating, so he throws out Lonnie Smith. Two outs, and here's the pitcher off of Langston's card. And 62 is just into the out range. Ground out to second base. No error. Andujar is retired, so are the Cardinals. We have the top of the fourth, one nothing Seattle. All right, Phil Bradley leads off for Seattle. Nine off of Phil Bradley's card. And 75 is going to be right normal out. Fly ball to right field. George Hendrick is tracking and makes the catch. Alvin Davis. Eight off of his card. And 44 is a base on balls. Davis has D speed, not a threat to go. Here's Dave Henderson, who doubled and scored his first time up. Off of... Joaquin Andujar's card. And 10 uh, will re-roll to see if there is a clutch batting or clutch defense or a Z chart. 1 to 4 will be clutch batting. 
5 through 8 is CD chart, and 9, 10 would be a Z chart. It's a 3, clutch batting. We'll reroll the random number dice and look at the stats at the bottom. 11 through 38 will be a big hit for Dave Henderson. It is 38. That's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. Two-run home run for Dave Henderson. He has doubled and homered. Now scored twice. Three, three to nothing, Seattle. So we've had two unusual roles. One helped the defense. One helped the offense. Here is Larry Mel Melbourne. One down, the base is clear. Nine is off his card. And we get a roll of 51. Popped up behind home plate. Daryl Porter loses the mask and makes the catch. Two outs. Bob Kearney. Ten off of Kearney's card. And 18 is going to be a base hit to left field. It could go for two. Kearney slides in the second. He is safe with the double. That lowers Andujar's SR rating down to 10. Here's Spike Owen, the eighth place hitter with a man in scoring position. I think he'll take a walk. Brings up the pitcher, Mark Langston. Two down, first and second. Eight off the pitcher's card. That's another zero. We'll save the, let's see, 34, because we'll use the 34. Well, no, we won't. Um, six will be clutch defense. Third baseman. That's Terry Pendleton. He's a CD3. Pendleton's a terrific defender, and CD3 is a little over the top because the charts I have have CD0, CD1, and class defense 2, with 2 being the best. We'll, we'll use a 2 column. Here's the roll, and 55 is the roll. Line out to the fielder, lead runner doubled off, double play. There's already two outs. So Langston lines out to Terry Pendleton. That's the end of the fourth inning. The Mariners put two more up on the board, and they lead three to nothing. We've got a lot of zero rolls in this game. Yesterday, we didn't hardly have any, and I think there were none that applied. Willie McGee leads off for the Cardinals. A strikeout victim, his first time up. Highlight kick from Mark Langston. Here's the delivery, 10-2 Willie McGee's card. And we have 33. That's going to be a double to center field for Willie McGee, leadoff double. First Cardinal hit. And let's see, it's the third mark off Langston. He has given up two walks previously. Here's Ozzie Smith. Ozzie Smith's going to try to lay one down, but he's trying to buck for a base hit. I rolled the wrong dice. 71. Catcher Bob Kearney picks it up, makes a wild throw to first base. The runner in second is going to score, and Ozzie Smith gets a hit, E2, or gets the second. It's not a hit. And no RBI, but the Cardinals get a run. Here's Terry Pendleton. Off of Langston's card. And 70. Four is going to be an out. That's normal. It is a pop up on the infield. No air check. Caught by shortstop Spike Owen. One out. Here's George Hendrick. Three off Langston's card. And 44 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Second strikeout recorded by Langston. Two outs. Here's David Green, the first baseman.
And that's off of his card. And that's another zero with a man on base. And that's going to be a, a clutch batting. 11 to 31 will make a difference here. 18 is going to be a triple by David Green. Cardinals move to within one. It's three to two. Two outs. We're on third. There should be three outs other than because of the wild throw by the catcher, Kearney. Uh, NFL will be playing back with two outs. Pitch to Tommy Hur off of Langston's card. 72 is going to end the inning. Ground ball to Larry Milborn at third base. No air. Scored five to three. Cardinals get two. Go to the top of the fifth. Three to two. Seattle. In the top of the fifth, Joaquin Andujar has six left on his SR rating. And Mark Langston has 16 minus seven. He has nine left. Here's Jack Bricante. Leading off for the Mariners in the fifth inning. Off of Langston's card. And 47 is off of Andujar's card. 47 is going to be an out. Left normal is ground ball back to Andujar. Makes the play flawlessly. One out. Here's Al Cowens. Really was a 5 tool player when I watched him in, with the 77 Royals. Had a strong arm and um, could run fast. Caught the ball well. Hit with power and hit with average. Here's the pitch to Al Cowens. Five is off Andrew Hart's card. And 61 is going to be an out. Ground ball to third base. Nothing on the air check. Two outs. Here's Phil Bradley. Let's see if he can get something started with two down. 12 off his play. And 18 is a base hit to center field by Phil Bradley. He's one for three. Has B speed. Porter is a B thrower. He's going to hold it first, see if Al Davis can pop one. 27 homers in 1984. Eight, Al Davis's card. And 35 is a swing and a miss, four strike three. Let's go to the bottom of the fifth. 3 2 Seattle. Former Royal and now Cardinal, Darryl, former Brewer, then Royal, then. Now Cardinal. Darrell Porter leads off for the Cardinals. Seven off Langston's card. And 71 is going to be an out. Line drive to second base. That's plucked by Jack Percanti. One away. Now Lonnie Smith. Three off Langston's card. 75 is going to be right normal out. Ground ball to second base with an air check. Two outs. Here's the pitcher, Joaquin Andujar. He will stay in the game and continue his battle with Mark Langston. Off of Langston's card. And 54 is going to be an out. Line out to the shortstop. No air. Clean inning for Mark Langston. We go to the top of the six, three to two, Seattle. Yesterday's game required nine pitchers, or Friday's game required nine pitchers. Uh, we're still with our starters here, but they're not without battle scars. Mark Langston has nine left. And Joaquin Andujar is down to five marks in his fatigue. Dave Henderson leads off for the Mariners. 
four is off of Edenhorst's card. 37 is a base on balls. And Dave Anderson's having a day. Double homer and now walk. Larry Milborn. He is an exceptional bunner. And I think he'll go ahead and try to sacrifice. A.A. A. Bunner. 6-5. Uh, Batter out. Third to first. Runner advances. Perfect bunt. Sacrifice works. One down. Bob Kearney, the catcher. Seven off Andujar's card. And a 15 is a single to center, two base advanced. Kearney drives in the run, gets the RBI, makes it four to two, Seattle. Mariners playing a little bit of small ball here in the sixth inning. Here's Spike Owen. He's going to try to bunt for a base hit. Uh, 77. Bunt try goes foul. Batter still a bat, but he can't try to bunt again for a base hit. Here's the roll goes off Spike Owen's card. And 71 will be an out, switch normal. Fielder choice ground ball to shortstop, no air check. And so Kearney's out at second, six to four. Spike Owens, the runner at first. C speed. There are two down for the pitcher, Mark Langston. Of Andrew Hart's card. 56 will be an out. Fly out to left field. Seattle gets a run. 4 to 2 Seattle. Willie McGee, who doubled and scored his last time up, leads off for the cards and are down, down by two. Eight is off McGee's card. And 71 will be an out. That's normal. Ground ball to shortstop. No error. One away. Here's the Wizard of Oz, Ozzie Smith. Tried to bump for a base hit last time and got on by an air and then scored. Five is off Mark Langston's card. And 35 is a strikeout. Here's Terry Pendleton, bases clear in two outs. Six off Langston card. And the red die is not a zero. 64 is an out. Switch normal is round ball a third with an air check. No air. Since David Green's triple, Mark Langston has retired seven in a row. We go to the seventh, 4-2 Seattle. Joaquin Endahar is about the end of his rope. He had two marks left on his starting pitching rating, so he will be replaced to pitch top of the seventh inning. Neil Allen is, comes on to pitch for the Cardinals. He's a local Kansas City product. He went to Bishop Ward High School. Uh, he was in a class about a couple of years behind uh, my, my class, but he played baseball in the same circles, the same leagues as I did grow, growing up. He had an overpowering high school fastball that nobody could hit. Also played quarterback on a football team. And... Um, I think he played in the state championship game, but I and I saw that game, but I don't recall who who won it. But he did have a very successful high school football career as well. Jack Percanti leads off the seventh inning for the Mariners. Here's the first offering from Neil Allen. Seven is off his cart, and thirty-eight is a base on balls. Percante takes first with a smile on his face, doing what leadoff hitters like to do, get on base. Al Cowens. Cowens is looking for his first hit. 
Struck out and grounded into a double play and grounded out the third. Six off Neil Allen's card. And I apologize for hitting the camera again. Okay, the camera stand I was using is wearing out, so I'll go to a different one. Here's a pitch to Al Cowens. Ten off his card. And 27 is going to be a two base hit. We'll check for the air off the batter, hit off the batter's card. Eight through ten air. So um, hit the center field. Center fielder is Willie McGee. He was going to successfully make his play to get the ball back in without incident. Second and third with nobody out. Neil Allen is in a heap of trouble. Cardinals don't want to fall any further behind. They're going to play the infield in for Phil Bradley. Five off the Allen card. He really use a strikeout here. 33 is a swing and a miss. Strike three, one down. Alvin Davis comes off the bat. Infield still in. Eight is off the Alvin Davis card. And 53 is just into the out range. LP is ground ball to second base. A, 7 to 10 air chart. Second baseman is Tommy Herr. He's a one, so he's going to make the play. I had that wrong. He does not make the play. That's a single through the infield. Both runners will score with the infield playing in, referring to the out chart. So that changes things. It's six to two, Mariners. And that will use up the relief rating of Neil Allen. We'll need to get a new pitcher. New roller for the Cardinals will be Jeff Lottie, 3.72 ERA, two through six PB numbers. And here's Dave Henderson, who's having a perfect day, doubled, homered. Scored three times and driven in two runs. Two off Lottie's card. A24 is a strikeout. Larry Milborn up to bat. Seven off of Milborn's card. 41. And that, that's an out switch normal. Line out to third base, no air check. That's the end of the seventh inning, but a big two-run single by Alvin Davis makes it 6-2 to two Mariners. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Cards are now down by four. Redbirds have a hill to climb. George Hendrick is the batter. Nine off of his card. And 53. Round ball to the shortstop. Spike Owen, no error. Eight straight, set down by Mark Langston. Here's David Green. Off of Langston's card. 77, it will be an out, RP, ground out to shortstop, no error. We get another ball hit to Spike Owen. He'll tie a major league record owned by many. Tommy Herr. 11 off Herr's card. And 32 is a double for Tommy Herr. He's one for three. The Cardinals have two outs, but they really need to take advantage of this opportunity here. Daryl Porter is the man on the spot, 232 hitter. Swings the bat from the left side. Nine off of Porter's card. And forgot to check for an error off the double. No error off that. Um, 81 will be a out. Ground ball to second base, air check, nowhere. That's the end, end of the inning for the Cardinals. We go to the eighth, 6-4 Seattle.
6-2 Seattle. Bob Kearney leads off the eighth inning for the Mariners. Eight is off of Kearney's card. Lottie is still on the mound. 84 is going to be an out or in. Fly ball deep to left field. Back to the track is Lonnie Smith, and he makes the catch. One down. Spike Owen. Off of the Lottie card, picture card. 87. We'll send this to the left-right variable chart and be a base hit for Spike Owen. A single. Here's the picture of Mark Langston. Um, a, a bunner. He'll score around to try to sacrifice. 56. Is better out third to first. Successful sacrifice. So the runner goes to second. Scored five to four. Sacrifice. Two away, and Jack Percanti, a 295 hitter, steps into the box. Five off of Jeff Lottie's card. And 44 is a pass ball, maybe. Pitch says no, so it's not. Let's re-roll. Nine off Percotti's card, and 16. Hard single to left, one base advance, no air on the air check. First and third Mariners with two outs. Al Cowens. Nine off the batter card, and 46 is just into the out range. Ground ball to second. No error on the air check. That's the end of the inning. Mariners get two on, but they strand them. It is 6-2 Seattle. Mark Langston still has eight left on his fatigue rating. So he's as fresh as a daisy. And Lonnie Smith will lead off the bottom of the eighth inning for the Cardinals. Pitchers do up next. We'll pitch it for him. But first, let's see what happens with Lonnie Smith. Eight is off of his card. And 73 will be an RN out. Fly ball deep to left field. One away. Pitch hitter for the pitcher is going to be Tom Nieto. 279 hitting catcher with three home runs in 1984. Right handed batter facing left handed pitcher. Uh, this is off Nieto's card. And 51 is a swing and a miss for strike three. Two outs. Here's Willie McGee. And another eight goes to the batter card. 41 is a swing and a miss strike three. So Mark Langston is only getting stronger as he goes along. Cardinals are falling on themselves. Fourth Cardinal hurler to come into the game is Bruce Suter. And not, I know it's not a safe situation. Cardinals are four runs down. If they lose, their, their tournament's over. I just want to see Bruce Suter pitch. 1.54 ERA, 2.9, 2 to 9 is the PB rating. Right-hander, and Phil Bradley steps into the box for Seattle in the ninth. Eight goes off the suitor card. And 83 is going to be a definite out. RN popped up on the infield. Giving chase is Alvin, is um, David Green. He makes the catch, one down. Here's Alvin Davis. Nine goes off Suter's card. I think PB two to nine is about as good as it gets. Uh, Twelve is going to be 
uh, right to left, that's going to be a single for Alvin Davis. He is two for four on the day, also walked. Here's Dave Henderson, who is three for four. Seven off the pitcher card. Uh, that's a zero, so we might get a clutch play here. Nine is a Z chart. I was hoping to get a Z chart. Let's re roll the random number dice. 88. 88 sends us to the injury table. And 76. Third baseman hit by a line drive. Batter gets a single. Runner advance one base. Fielder is injured. So in the instructions, we have an injury duration table. There are no injury. I don't think there's any injury writings on the set of cards. So we're talking about Terry Pendleton. I don't see any INJ injury writings. Roll of four. Uh, so the length of injury is six plus the first digit of the next random number. So six plus six would be 12 games missed by Terry Pendleton. New Cardinal third baseman will be Ken O'Burkfell. He comes out on the field and the new batter uh, is, let's see, Larry Milborn. Dave Anderson has single, doubled, and homered and walked. Here's the pitch to Milborn from Bruce Seaver. 10 is off the batter card. And 75. It's going to be an out, fly out to right field. OBR A or B on second goes to third. Davis is a D. So two outs. Here's Bob Kearney. Off the pitcher card, 82 is an out. Ground ball back to Suter. He makes the play, three outs. Let's go to the bottom of the ninth. Seattle Mariners, six, and St. Louis Cardinals, two. Pitcher Mark Langston is looking for a complete game. He still has eight left, and nine is off the batter card. 35 is... A base on balls to Ozzie Smith. All right, newly into the game is Ken O'Burkfell. Left-handed batter against left-handed pitcher. Eight is O'Burkfell. And 33 is going to be a double to center field for Ken O'Burkfell. Off the batter card, there's an air of four to ten. Center fielder is Henderson. He's a two, so he makes his part of the play okay. Second and third, we're not going to try to extend that into a run scoring double down by four. Timeout. All right, the Mariners are going to lift Mark Langston and make a pitching change. Edwin Nunez comes in, right hander, two, PB2 through seven, 3.19 ERA to pitch to George Hendrick. No outs. Second and third, Mariners will play the infield back. Seven off of the pitcher card. And 65. With the infield playing back and OBRA at third base, that's Ozzie Smith. He will score. So an RBI on the ground out, five to three. Well, Brookfell at second base stays at second. And the Cardinals now trail six to three. Here's David Green. They need another base runner to get the tie and run up there. Uh, eight is off of the batter card. And 44 is a strikeout. Two outs. Here's Tommy Herr off the pitcher card. And 71 is going to be an out if they make the play as normal. Popped out to third, no or second base, no air check. And 
Jack McCarthy puts the squeeze in it. That's the ball game. The final score, the Seattle Mariners 6 and the St. Louis Cardinals 3. We'll be back with a wrap-up. The Seattle Mariners come into St. Louis and they score the victory. Six runs on 12 hits and one error for Seattle. Cardinals had three runs on five hits and no errors. Dave Anderson hit the only home run of the game. That was a two-run shot in the fourth inning. Winning pitcher was Mark Langston. He gave up three runs, only one of which was earned. He pitched eight innings. Edward Nunez finished the game out for the Mariners. Joaquin Andujar takes the loss. Six innings pitched, four earned runs. Today's star of the game was Dave Henderson, who goes three for four with a double, homer, single, three runs scored, and two RBIs. Dave Henderson is your star of the game. The uh, Cardinals, see this, Cardinals are eliminated, so the Mariners will go forward and they will play in the next round, the New York Mets. Our next uh, game on the channel will be delayed. We're going to go on to a, a, a week's vacation. So in a week, the next game will be the Chicago White Sox at the Kansas City Royals. Thank you for watching. If you like these games, hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and may God bless.